Yo, what it is, what it do, what is good, Looney Platoon, what is cracking, how are you guys today? Now, before we start, i got to say sorry for being ghost for so goddamn long, past like four or five days or whatever it was been. I've been working stupid hours, not stupid hours, they're good hours, but they're long hours, and I'm literally getting home from work, going to bed, going back to work. So, I apologise for that. Also, I've had to take today off work due to the fact that my face on this side is starting to swell up. My gum is sore so i'm guessing a trip to the dentist at some point yay hate the dentist <laughs> but yo that won't stop me dropping a video no matter how painful it is this is day two and no sleep so this is great so by looking sound weird i apologize i can't help the look weird i look weird 24 7 <laughs> but yo before we get started i got something to show you this is going to be our new schedule the things that you can expect monday through to friday so you ready? Let's go. All right, fam. So this is what you can expect Monday through to Friday. So at the top on a Monday, we have got a Ghost of Carmel Main. On Tuesday, it'll be a Nuke's Top 5. Let me position that better for you. And uh, then you'll have a Sea Gins. I revenge hard and one of your guys' suggestions. So, hope you guys are good with that. I'm going to throw this away again. And then we're going to get back to the video. Cutting back to you now, bro. Now, with all that being said... Hope you guys are staying safe, staying blessed. I know what time it is, guys. I know you know what time it is. We are back with Nuke's top five. Let's do this, shall we? All right, fam, let's see what Nuke's... I believe this was last week's video. Top five missed. ghosts. Call on so, camera. here we go, man. Let's check the this out. The Watcher in the Window. Hearst Castle in Hampshire, England was established in the early 1500s, and over its grim 500-year history, it served as a formidable English military fort. It was also sometimes used as a prison to hold convicts sentenced to death. So it goes without saying that the castle has seen some dark and bloody times. Many visitors claim to have seen ghosts and shadows in its haunted hallways, including the spirit of a long-dead monk. Paranormal investigator Tony I was Ferguson just about to say, yeah, how sick would it be to explore that? That'd be so much fun, fun. I love anything historical. I'm into history. Anything to do with like wars, like I've read up about civil wars in America and all that stuff, Boston Tea Party, stuff like that. I'm really into history, so yeah. Sorry about that. That's a weird segue, but here we go. Board the haunted <laughs> Hearst Castle many times, and on each visit, he seems to capture something more and more terrifying. On this particular visit, Tony brings along fellow investigator Paul Sissel. The two men split up to explore the castle Why did take dog all alone. Him? But for Paul Sissel, it didn't go well. Why does it look weird? He I just feel like he's peering straight into my soul, fam. Now, what up with you, bro? But I keep your creepy ass away from you. You little mother. But I knew something was going to happen. I knew he was looking too creepy. Paul says that he felt as if he were out of control, possessed by the spirit of some angry entity from Boy, the castle. I knew he looked creepy as, as hell. As Tony and Paul continue exploring, they say that they feel a strange and very powerful energy in one particular room. A small castle alcove Boy, that with gave one me creepy the window though. that seems to open to nothing. On his next visit, Tony comes alone, determined to investigate this tiny little room and see if he catches any paranormal activity. Oh, hell no. He sets up a camera Apologies to record and ends up capturing something horrific. Oh, hell no. No. Uh-uh, bruv. No. No, 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 no. That, no, bruv. Oh, no, that's not happening. Tell you what, yeah. If that was me and I seen that, where well, I don't care if you're a ghost, I'm throwing a right hand at you, bruv, because you might not be a ghost. You might be some creepy dude, and I'm laying you down and running for my life, fam. Nope, that's giving me the creeps. Hell no. My eyes are watering already. Boy, why has this always happened to me? Let's go. Nah, bruv. Nope. Mm -mm. Not me. Don't, no. The creepy. Nope. And it just backs off. Tony reviews his footage later. 
he is shocked to see a small dark oh, figure with glowing eyes standing at the window in the small dog why does it look like his mouth's like wide open bro like one of them cartoon mouths that you see all the time Hearst castle room now you might think that this could simply be a person standing outside Dude, that's the window, so creepy fam. but it turns out that that would be impossible you see behind this window there is only a small gap and then concrete no no not the area that. behind this window was completely closed off with bricks and cement long ago do you think maybe back in the day they walled somebody up as a punishment because i know that was a punishment back in the day they used to wall you up alive and just let you die kind of a harsh way to go so do you reckon that maybe what had happened oh let me know what you think but hell no bro if i see that i'm running so then the question is who or what is this you decide a prisoner i reckon, I reckon on the road up. TikTok user Sherman O'Neill worked at a local trucking company That's in Fort Smith, opinion, Arkansas. Though. He says that one night one of the truck drivers captured strange footage on a highway outside of Ada, Oklahoma. Many people, including children, have tragically lost their lives on the two busy highways running through the small town. Sherman and his workmates can be seen watching the dash cam footage from the truck. They are shocked by what they see. 27 there. Yeah. Let it, let it roll. Come on, Kill him. Come on, let it roll. Right there, right there. Oh, hell no. You see that little kid? The fam? truck driver barely manages to avoid hitting what seems to be a small child that appears out of thin air. But it gets even creepier because the driver says that he immediately stopped the large truck on the side of the Safe. road after this incident. She was okay. He looked everywhere for the child. He found nothing. He called local police, but again there were no reports of lost or missing children anywhere in the area so is this a ghost caught on camera oh no or a completely random unexplained I think it might child, be a lost child on a dark highway in the but, middle of the and night and then got scared and ran off nowhere Wait, that is a ghost child Hell, if you what? see any video that is creepy Mad. strange or spooky it doesn't have to be ghosts email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com afraid of the dark Two teenagers are hanging out when one of them, who's playing a guitar, of decides dark. to head off for Since a bathroom a kid, break. Bro. The other guy relaxes and... Dude, I'm one of these guys, yeah, that I ha if I'm going to sleep, the TV has to be on, but I set my TV to turn off. I don't know why, but I've always felt like something is there just watching me. It's, it's a weird thing. Even since I was a kid, bro, it just felt like someone was like right here peering at me anytime it was dark. But I always felt a bit more at ease with some sort of light. And so I put the TV on, set it to go into standby. And I'm a, when I'm asleep, I don't care, bro, if it's dark. <laughs> it's just trying to get to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Anybody else got weird irrational fears like that? Y'all let me know in the comments below. What's your irrational fear? Waits for his friend to return. But then something a bit strange. <laughs> Pisadio, <laughs> Something seems to hit the guitar strings, but the guy just laughs it off. Then things get truly chilling. Por la chucha, weón. Gato, tenéis la media Xbox. La pinuda. <laughs> oh, hell madre, no. Man, Gato, I'd be man. bugging so much. Gato, oh, my life, fam. Gato, conchito, man. 
Gato, un gato, gato, weón. Weón, chiste, no hay, weón, salió una sombra, culiá, weón. ¿A dónde, weón? Weón, salió una sombra, weón. Ya, weón. Weón, en serio, weón. Un chito más, no, 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 el chuli cagando, no. No, weón, en serio. Weón, weón, se apagó, weón. Ya, weón. Ya, en serio, weón. En serio, weón. Che tu madre, que weón, ya, 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 esta weón, no, ya, dale, dale con chico, man. Did you see it? He's my thing. As the light turns off on its own, a creepy dark figure can be seen walking through the kitchen. The guy filming is absolutely terrified. Talk about it, he tries to warn his friend, but the other guy doesn't really seem to believe him. Then a loud bang is heard from the darkness, and they both decide to just get out of there. Now, in the original video, the shape is a bit dark and hard to see, but when the video is enhanced, it looks downright terrifying. Got the one! The figure seems to be clothed all in black and it almost looks like it has glowing eyes. It just doesn't quite look human. But is this a real shadow creature? Oh, stop shouting me this fam. <laughs> or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Here's my thing, right? This can easily be set up. This is the problem. This can be easy. I know the other guy sounds sincere. The guy who's recording. And he's scared, but your friends can set you up to do mad shit, bro. You know, I've been set up to have a clown chase me by my friends. I'm not about clowns. I hate them. They're weird, creepy. I sh a brick, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> but so this is what I'm saying. This is why this could be like a hoax. Not a hoax. More of a prank, maybe. You know, but I don't know. Y'all let me know what you think about this one. There isn't really a backstory to it, so I don't know. You decide. But yeah, I hate the dark fam. I don't like it anymore. A shadow of doubt. After seeing that, Chuck bro. from the YouTube channel Added Addicts and his friend Justin are exploring an abandoned gold mine in the Sierra Nevada Wait. mountains of Northern California. Tell you what, see if I'm exploring an abandoned gold mine, I'm looking for gold too, fam. I don't care. If I'm going in there and potentially getting haunted, I'm gonna be coming out a rich dude. I'm telling you that much right now. I don't know if gold can make you rich. Depends how much you find, I suppose. But, you know, I'm looking. California. The mine dates all the way back to the early 1900s. Now, first, let me point out that Chuck's YouTube channel is dedicated solely to finding and exploring abandoned mines. He has never uploaded a paranormal video of any kind. So, while exploring these into ones. this old gold mine, Chuck gets separated from his friend Justin. While walking These ones I tend to believe a bit tunnels, more due to the fact that they don't do like oh, they're not this. a haunted channel type thing, you know. I'm not squeezing yet. Yes. What is that? Oh, you see that shadow, fam? Did you see it? A strange shadow thing no, seems to form and then disappear but... right in front of him. Now, at the time, Chuck didn't even notice this bizarre shadow. He says that his wife pointed it out to him later when they were reviewing the footage. Here's my thinking. Maybe it's his shadow, right? Maybe. Please be his shadow. I don't know, man. There's something about shadow figures that are creepy. I don't know what it is, bruv. They're just... They're not scary. They're more creepy than scary, if that makes any type of sense. I know what I'm talking about. Chuck Let's go. can't explain <laughs> it. He says it's the strangest it's thing shadow, he's ever man. seen in all his years of exploring caves and mines. Maybe it's a miner that died working there. That could be like a warning not to go any further, isn't it? The party's right? over. Late one night in 2011, four friends from Sao Paulo, Brazil, are hanging out after a party. One of them is showing off his new camera. When he spots something truly terrifying. Aí, fim da festa aí, pessoal. Ó, comprei a câmera nova. Vamos colocar um vídeo no YouTube aí, ó. Ai, que vergonha, não faz isso. A Josi capotada já, com sono. Aí, Thiago, a câmera que comprei nova aí. Vermelhinha e tal. Vocês nem esperaram pra festa aí, né, mano? Meu Deus, eu vi morrer essa, velho. Mano, eu vi alguma coisa aqui, Thiago. Tem um gusto aqui, velho. Did that go past the window or was that inside from? 
Maluco, maluco. Eu vou voltar a câmera. Eu vou voltar a câmera e você vai ver, velho. The cameraman freaks out as a sinister pale shape walks through the back of the kitchen, right behind his friend. Hmm. They check through the back of the house, but no one there. However, the door to the bathroom seems to have mysteriously opened on its own. Oh, hell no, dude. And the light is turned on inside. Nine years later, the original poster of this video still claims that it is 100% real. But what do you think? Real uh, ghost or real hoax? Oh, uh, no, that's easy. That's easy to, mm, you know, that could be a hoax easy. I know they're saying it's real, but I mean, I could claim to be a millionaire and say it's real. Doesn't mean it is. Oh, uh, no, that one, I don't, I'm not sure about that one. You decide. As always, thanks oh, no. for watching. I oh, know, y'all let me know what you think about that last one. I don't know how he orders these, or whether they're like the scariest to the least scariest, or the least scariest to the scariest. But that last one, for me, should have been number one. If it is ranked like that, then uh, for me, number one would have been that Shadow Donny when the lights went out, for me personally. Actually, you know, the first one, actually. The first one was creepy, dude. The way he just started like looking and he was blinking real fast too. And then started walking to the camera and just went whack. Yeah, bro, that one. Yeah, that one. That one was the scariest we've done this so far. So maybe number five is the scariest one. Then it goes down in order. I'm not sure. We, we have to try and figure this out at some point. Because I'm forever saying, now nah, that shouldn't be number one. This one should be number one. This one should be number two, you know. Yeah, y'all let me know what you thought about these videos. Which ones were your favorite? Now, like I said, with the new schedule, so Monday, like I said, will be Ghost Carmain. Carmain, yeah, Carmain. Why did I almost say Ghost of Caramel? I don't know. But Tuesday will be a Nukes Top Five. Wednesday will be a Sea Gins. Thursday will be Arab Adventure. Then on a Sat. Then on a Friday, it will be one of your guys' suggestions. So, please, please bear with me. You guys send me a ton of suggestions. It's going to take us a while to get through them all. I will, I, I, it's hard to keep hold of the comments because when I drop a new video, you give me a new suggestion and then it pushes comments down further and further away. So, I try to save it as much as possible, possible, sorry, take a screenshot of it and then, you know, put it into the watch list. Move it to the top side now. It's that one. But yeah, so bear with me, please. And if you have got any sort of suggestions and um, anything else that we can react to, I was starting to think about this, whether we can do anything. Start doing something different from paranormal, if that makes any type of sense. So if you've got anything that you want to watch that isn't paranormal, that isn't, I mean, we do scary things all the time. So maybe like anything that's funny, anything, anything, uh, pranks, challenges, yo, we can do them all. So without further ado, man, I've been your host, Loco and Looney Patoon, man. I love y'all. Thank you for rocking me. We we're 234 right now. You guys are going off. Love you guys, man, for everything. Thank you. As always, stay safe, stay blessed. I'll catch you in the next one. I've been your host, Loco. And I'm at Life Up.